and make sure you get this on the correct page. Summer in June and cooler or colder in December. Why is it winter in the southern hemisphere when it's summer in the northern hemisphere? Describe the different seasonal patterns, make sure it matches up. Seasonal patterns is the title. Again, page six, and this is the date. All right, um, you're gonna flip to the anticipation guide, page two. Um, remember two faults on the left-hand side, on the before side. Short shadows are caused by the sun's ray getting longer. This happens during the summer season. True false. Number four, the shortest hours of the daylight in the northern hemisphere happen on the winter solstice. True false. All right. Let's get to it. All right. <clears throat> so the reason that we have seasons. So Earth, we already know that Earth orbit orbits the sun, which causes temperature change. So we have, like I said in my kids' little thing, here's the Earth, it orbits, rotates, or revolves, sorry, around the sun. As it does this, it doesn't go in the perfect circle like you see right here. What it does is it does the elliptical orbit, and because it's doing an elliptical orbit, sometimes the Earth is closer to the sun Sometimes it's farther away. So there is a change in distance. We also have to take into account that the Earth, act, Earth isn't straight up and down. We don't spin or rotate while revolving around the sun straight up and down. We are tilted at, um, at an angle, 23.5 degrees, which you can see right there. And this causes the seasons. <clears throat> well, how so? Well, as the Earth revolves around the sun, the north end of the axis is always tilted away from the sun for part of the year, and sometimes it's towards the sun, depending. Okay? So, uh, the Earth's 23.5 degree angle tilt is constant. We're always tilted at that same angle at all times. And as we're tilted, it's going around like this, right? Like it is staying at that tilted angle. It doesn't change position. But we change our distance from the sun. And the sun hits at different angles. And how does it hit? So the sunlight hits the Earth's surface most, most directly near the equator. That's where we almost get head on uh, they get head on sun. Near the poles, however, it arrives at a steep angle, if it arrives at all. Because right here you can see it hits the North Pole, but it doesn't hit the South Pole. Right? So, <clears throat> in June, the, um, the North End of the Axis, for us, for the Northern Hemisphere, we're tilted towards the sun. So this is when we're tilted towards the sun, <clears throat> which means that we have more, more, uh, more time in the sunlight, more direct rays, and this causes a shorter shadow. It is also summer. At the same time, in the southern hemisphere down here, they are experiencing winter because the sun's rays don't hit this section. So when you turn it, only this part gets that direct rays. This part doesn't get it. So they have shorter days, longer shadows. That's winter. So in December, the opposite of what I just showed you, right now, the southern hemisphere gets what was getting up here. They now get it. And the northern hemisphere gets those um, longer angles of sunlight, so it's not as direct as indirect, which means down in the southern hemisphere, they're getting summer down here, whereas we're getting winter up here. Shorter shadow, longer shadow. Shorter sh shadow, longer shadow. 
Okay, and this is called the solstice. It's when the sun is farthest north or south of the equator. So you, pardon me, you have the winter solstice, sorry, or the summer solstice, and we just went by the winter solstice. The winter solstice is in December 21st or 22nd, so last month or so, a little bit more than last month. <clears throat> so that is the solstice. That is, in the winter, it is the shortest day of the year. In the summer, it is the longest day of the year. Um, so the summer solstice, looking at that, we'll focus on the, the solstices. So the summer solstice, June 21st, each year, it's the longest day, longest amount of sun, uh, sunlight that we have in the northern hemisphere. And like I said, because that's their winter, it is their shortest day. Whereas when we have our winter, which we just had, December 21st, that is our shortest day of the year. It's like roughly about six hours of sunlight. Whereas in the southern hemisphere, they have the longest day of the year, which is about 14 hours. No, it's not. It's got to be more than 14 hours. Roughly about 14 hours. No, it's not. Oh, I can't remember exactly how long it is, but it's a lot of hours. Okay, <clears throat> so we have the solstices. What's the opposite of the solstices? Well, we have the equinox, equal. So the equal time, 12 sunlight, 12 um, nighttime. And this is when the sun is directly above Earth's equator. So on these, I'm going to hop back. For June, the sun is directly on the Tropic of Cancer. In December, it's directly on the Tropic of Capricorn. For the equinox, it's directly at the equator, or equal, 12 and 12. It's everywhere on Earth. It will be 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness. Now, they have special ones. We have the spring equinox or the vernal. That's March 21st coming up real soon. And it marks the beginning of spring in the Northern Hemisphere. And then you have the autumnal, 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 yeah, autumnal equinox or the fall equinox, September 22nd, marking the beginning of the fall in the Northern Hemisphere. It's the reverse for the southern. So the autumnal, or September, will be their, their spring, where our spring will be their fall. Equinox. Fun facts. The Earth is farthest from the sun when we are in sun, summer, also called aphelion. And it is winter in the sum, southern hemisphere. We are closest in January. In, in the winter, also called Parahill. All right, let's do the quiz. Remember, one, two, three, four, five. This is quiz two. I'd say seasons, quiz two. Um, what causes seasons on Earth? Is it seasons result from Earth moving closer or farther from the sun? The Earth's tilted axis of 23.5 degree basis towards or away from the sun, depending on its revolution. The sun's tilted axis changes resulting in the various seasons or global warming causing, caused by an increase in carbon dioxide causes the seasons. All right, this is gonna be B, or sorry, C. That tilted axis results in our various seasons. <clears throat> um, in June, number two, in June, the shortest shadow means it is summer, how does this occur? Earth's axis in the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and has more hours of sun and more direct rays. Earth's axis in the southern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and has more hours of sun and more direct rays. Earth's axis in the southern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun and has more hours of sun and more direct rays. Or Earth's axis is in the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and has less hours of sun and less dark rays. So in June, shorter shadow, June is our summer in the north, so the northern hemisphere, we have more hours of sun 
more direct phrase. What season marks the shortest day in the southern hemisphere? Shortest day. That is winter for the southern hemisphere. Um, what season is the shortest day in the northern? Again, it's going to be winter. Vernal equinox in the northern hemisphere. This occurs when? June 21st, September 22nd, December 21st, or March 21st. This is going to be September 22nd. This is, um, hold up. No, it's going to be March 21st. I'm sorry. There is a typo. It is going to be March 21st. Season is it in the northern hemisphere, the top, when the southern hemisphere is experiencing summer? So when the southern has summer, what do we have? We have winter. All right, hop back to the anticipation guide. We're going to answer these questions real quick. Sorry, move that. Shortest shadows are caused by the sun's ray getting longer. This happens during the winter season. This is false. The longer shadows are caused by the sun's rays getting longer during the winter. So longer shadows, longer rays gives you winter. Shorter shadows, shorter rays gives you summer. The shortest hours of daylight in the northern hemisphere happen on the winter solstice. This is absolutely true. Happens December 21st. It's the longest and the long it's the longest day of the year for the southern hemisphere. So on the bottom. So when we have the shortest, they have the longest, and vice versa. Let's hop to the summary. Back um back in our notes, page six. So why is the northern uh, Northern America warmer in June and cooler in December? Well, the, in the Northern Hemisphere, it is warmer in June because we have shorter rays causing us summer and longer rays in December. <clears throat> why is winter in the Southern Hemisphere when it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere? That is because in the southern hemisphere it is winter when it is summer in the northern hemisphere because we have a tilted axis and it is we are which is the same all around and pointed at the sun at different um inter uh different angles uh describe the different seasonal patterns um autumn happens in the northern hemisphere on and this is going to be september 22nd it is an equinox, same with the spring equinox, meaning equal day, equal um, daylight and nighttime. Whereas winter, longer rays, um, shorter daylight. Summer, longer days, shorter angle. All right, that is it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I hope you guys have a great day.